Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm so excited to be back. Um, you probably noticed that I didn't upload yesterday, but everything just happened kind of weird. So I had no way of doing it. So I am giving you guys a double upload. I hope you guys are excited about that. Um, so all you see me doing is priming my eyes. I don't know what I'm going to call this um, yet, but it is just a dramatic cut crease um with glitter and this is so freaking cute um if you follow me on twitter you've already seen this look that is the benefit of following me on social media so make sure you follow me on all of my accounts um even snapchat because those people see it first so now i'm just going in with this beige shadow and i'm going to be um, putting that in my crease this is my transition shade i wanted something pretty light in the crease and kind of um, something that matched my skin tone because I wasn't really going to play in the crease. So next all you see me doing is taking like a um, a warm brown. It's kind of like brown script but I'm taking it from the BH Cosmetic um, Marble Palette. Now I've been loving this palette. All I'm going to do is take this black eyeliner from Colourpop. This is uh, I think it's called Swerve. And I'm opening my eyes really really big. And I'm going to mark where they open, basically, where they connect. And I'm going to just make a cut crease that way, just so when I open my eyes, it's like concealed. That's what I was going for. But I wanted when I close it, you can tell that it was a like really carved cut crease. I really liked it. It came out really, really pretty. So then I'm going to be taking the LA Girl um, primer in black. I'm going to put place that on the inside of the line that I just made. And I'm going to blend that out with that small little brush, making sure I reach all the way up to the corners and just making sure that I blend it before that um, eyeliner crumbled on me. If you do this, make sure you take your time. Do one eye at a time because I did, have, I did find that it was trying to crumble at the top. You can kind of tell in this clip, but just be aware of that. I'm taking this blue and this is from the Makeup Forever palette. Uh, I want to say volume two, but I'm not really sure. I'll have everything linked down below. So I'm going to be taking this blue green glitter and I'm going to put that on top of that blue we already placed down. This is just going to make the glitter pop a little bit more and I'm making sure that I get it really close to that line um, that we already made earlier. So now just brush it off of your lashes. You don't need anything to be clumping together. You want everything to be nice and smooth. And now I'm just going to outline that um, line I already created in the beginning. This was super hard to do, so if you're going to do it, just take your time, go slow, and just try your very, very best because it was hard even for me. Um, so basically, I started in the middle and I worked my way outward, and then I went into the front and I slowly started making the line bigger and bigger. I did not start off big at all. That is how you make a huge mistake. But this line just makes everything more defined and it makes the blue and the glitter stand all the way out. You will notice a difference in the look, um, even if you look at it now. So what I did was I lined, I did a very small line and I just wanted to connect the, um, the outer edge all the way with the bottom. I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. I'm so bad at explaining things. But basically, I just wanted to connect it. Um, and now I'm just dusting off this powder. Uh, I bake. I don't really like to set. I like to bake because I have oily skin. So I just go ahead and bake that thing and I'm just wiping it on off. And then I'm using an eyeshadow to um, highlight. This is from the Juvia's palette. I love, 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 love this um, shadow to highlight. It is the absolute best. And it just works well with that glitter. It just made everything just look so so bomb connected and as you see I am placing the um, eyeshadow under my brow bone as well just to give it an extra highlight it wasn't beamy but it was you know nice um, I took my favorite lashes the 126 from Ilure I love those lashes so I took Max Chestnut and all I'm gonna do is follow up with the um, pale pink lipstick along with the pale gloss and I want you guys to subscribe don't forget to press that notification bell I have something very important to share with you guys, so I want you to be the first to know. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Oh, you got the feeling
that I want.